Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, Google Calendar is going to go head to head with Sunrise Calendar. So for those who don't know, Google Calendar is very much a place where you can add all of your events, maybe even some of your tasks and anything else, you know, from birthdays to other calendars, maybe even if it's holidays, um, things like that. Um, and it has one of the leading positions at the moment in calendars. So there seems to be um, a lot of people using Google Calendar um, and there seems to be a lot of apps that overlay what Google Calendar does. So Google Calendar uh, is up against things like Apple Calendar and uh, Microsoft Exchange or Office. Um, and that basically is something that is happening at the moment. So a lot of people are using their Apple iCalendar, um, others are using their Microsoft Exchange, but Google Calendar does seem to be leading the way in terms of this, this market. Maybe not in functionality, but more in the, um, it's basically tied in with a lot of third party services that offer um, stuff on top and make the experience a lot better. So the kind of raw Google Calendar experience here, as you see in front of me, this is my Google Calendar. Um, what I can see over here is actually get the exact um, so I can go in month view, I can go in seven day view, I can go in week view, uh, even just simply a day view and agenda view. Over here, I actually have a lot of functionality when it comes to uh, settings. So I can change a lot of the stuff. I can sync it with my mobile device, display, those kind of things. But also up here, I can quick add an event. I can create events from here, I can go into all my calendars. And what I like about this is it does go a lot deeper. So this is just my calendar here. I can actually see calendar settings, who I share the calendar with, edit the event, change the color, uh, create an event on that specific calendar and hide it if I wanted it to. So the actual Google Calendar service is actually really cool, offers you a really simple experience. The apps on iPhone and Android are really, really good. They don't reflect that online for some reason. I think they should have added material design to this straight away because it does look pretty uh, plain and pretty, uh, pretty like uh, 90s style. <laughs> calendar at the moment. So uh, what Sunrise is, is just switching over to this tab, it's basically the same core experience. Um, you've got all of your kind of uh, information about settings along this side. Um, and then obviously in the center, you've got uh, all of your, you know, ta um, sorry, events and information. But what calendar, what Sunrise Calendar has above uh, Google Calendar is is a lot more functionality when it comes to social accounts. So what I mean by social accounts is here, I can add in, you know, my other Google calendars, my iCloud, my Outlook.com, my Office 365. Okay, so there, they seem to be the four leaders in the calendar market, um, and they all offer native experiences with calendars. But as you can see here, there seems to be an array of other tools that you can plug in to your calendar. So you can have four square check-ins, um, tasks on Google Tasks. I'm not very big fan, but we can talk about that later in another episode. Uh, Vunderlist tasks, ta uh, LinkedIn, Productive, you know, GitHub, Songkick, Asana, TripIt, uh, Todoist, Trello, Meetup, and Basecamp. And then there's, um, you know, I've already plugged in uh, Eventbrite, Evernote, Facebook, Google, and Twitter. And they're just some simple ones. So they've got a lot of functionality when it comes in, into betting in um, social accounts. And what's really nice about that is let's say I made an Evernote, and I probably won't be able to find an example in the next two weeks. Um, because I don't wanna go back in too far so that you can see all the stuff, you know. Um, but what it actually does is if you assign something on your Evernote or the agenda, um, what it does is it pops up on your calendar. Um, and that's really nice because you can actually get access to the Evernote note from here, which is really lovely. Um, and that's really, really good fun. They've made it so that as well, if you tap this, I really like these small things. It actually tells you if you've got any invites coming up. I have no invites, that's really cool. The colors, the color ratio in terms of like what it looks like is actually really, really good. Um, let, so let's say if I go to here, travel to work, you can add reoccurring tasks like you can on Google Calendar, but it just feels a little more like the little suitcase next to it, it makes it feel a little more uh, personal uh, and fun. And also it adds a lot of interesting calendars. Uh, we, you can do this with Google Calendar, but they seem to be a bit more knowledgeable about certain calendars, about sport calendars, TV calendars, stock, you know, things like that, uh, lots of different functions. 
So overall, this calendar feels a lot more social and modern than Google Calendar. Um, I'm actually in a bit of a rage at the moment with um, their iPhone application. I'm not sure why, but I seem to be using the Apple Calendar uh, and syncing it with Google and anything else as well. Uh, more than I am using with Sunrise, uh, which is quite, which is a bit of a weird experience for me. But the kind of core getaways from this, Sunrise is more of a social, it's more of a beautiful looking, it's more of a uh, easy to access tool than Google Calendar is. Although Google Calendar seems to fit the mark with all the functionality, if you're looking for something that will offer you less, slightly less functionality than Google Calendar, but more embeddedness of other embeddedness uh like inside knowledge of other things you're doing like meetups like event eventbrite like facebook all those sort of things it does a job in terms of bringing that in so it's really really good really really fun and they do a stellar job with it so i recommend sunrise obviously above google calendar um, i'm probably going to do more reviews on sunrise being a player in this market maybe a few more you know vendorless sunrise what do they look like together uh, and the smaller things like that. But I definitely recommend going into Sunrise uh, and actually using it to bring everything together. It's almost like, think about it as just bringing everything together, that one app that just brings um, all those kind of services that you use all into one feely calendar hub. <laughs> so um, I hope this one was useful, guys. I hope you got an insight into what Google Calendar can do and Sunrise can do in terms of uh, functionality. So thanks very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and please do share this video if you found it useful.